Rockwell itself, it's uh, about a $4.6 billion company. It's about 19,000 employees worldwide. But generally, we focus in um, providing solutions for factory automation. So, you know, anything from coal mines to uh, food factories, so on. For Rockwell Automation, we require, uh, in order to be successful, we need very, very detailed levels of, uh, of detail within the model that, that we have, um, down to the die level for our, our power electronics and so on. So I use simulation um, up front in the design process. Once we know what the requirements are and what the design needs to achieve, I use it um, basically to verify the concept or the initial design and make sure that we think it's going to work. Um, simulation itself, it's, it's not a one-time thing. You don't do it up front and then never revisit it again. So it's kind of a living, breathing entity that um, as you come up with an initial design, if I get a prototype, there'll be some testing. There's usually a loop back to where the simulation needs to get refined. So what the ENSYS tools enable me to do um, is to work closely with the various different uh, departments and different disciplines to come up with a solution. Uh, for example, our electrical engineers can work with um, uh, Q3D or Maxwell to develop their magnetics and from that I can get uh, estimations of heat losses that feed into my ice pack models. What I see now is, is really exciting to me is because I bridged the gap in, in my role between mechanical and electrical is the, um, the automation of the information as you go from the, say, the ANSYS electrical products um, like Q3D and Maxwell or Simplor or the ANSOF products and be able to take those results and feed them into ice pack analysis and so on. That, that whole integration uh, to me is very exciting. I'm not aware that anybody else does it as well as ANSYS. If we didn't have ANSYS now, we would be in a position to where our products would be over-designed. Uh, we'd have a lot of expense in there. We couldn't probably be as competitive as we are in the marketplace. Um, we wouldn't understand our requirements uh, as well as, as we do and know where we can push things, where we can't push things. Um, and, and we just wouldn't have very accurate solutions.